Hi you guys, Jesse Lucas here of jessielucas.com and coming at you today with video number three in the Embody Your Purpose, Don't Go to Sleep with the Music Still in You experience. And today's subtopic is alignment, physical, emotional, and energetic alignment. And before we get into that, I just wanna remind you that the context here is coming from, I have this deep belief that we are really not supposed to burn out and stress out in order to get out our creative muse, our own authentic energy, our brilliance, our radiance, our purpose work in the world. I know that you have something big to do here. And whether that's kind of your personal creative expression or purpose work, something you need to do to be of service, to provide something to a community on this planet right now, and that we have seen too many people really get sick, get tired, get cranky, get hurt in order to do that. And I think that there's a better way and that the only way we are gonna do that is if we are fueled by the energy in our cells, by healthy cells, by healthy selves. So I'm bringing you some bits and pieces, some nuggets to help you figure out where you're getting caught up and hung up and where your energy is getting strained and drained and how you can release that and unlock that and unleash that inner creative muse or badass purpose work that's in you. So alignment, you guys, this is one of my favorite, favorite topics. I am an anatomy geek. I am a nerd about how things fit together. So think about this. I always talk about kind of the three bodies and you know there's lots of other ways we could talk about it but for this purpose let's talk about your physical body so your you know skin and bones your muscles what you can see and touch and what's under the surface then you have an emotional body and think of that taking a shape just like your physical body maybe even just under under the surface of this this dense thing that is your physical body and then even less dense even more kind of subtle is your energy body and so stay with me here so just like you can have a misalignment in your physical body and that's going to maybe cause pain or limit your range of motion you can have scarring you can have pain you can have limitations in your emotional body and also more subtly in your energetic body and the three are interconnected so if you have limitations or scarring or um, pain in one of them, it's going to affect the others. So what I like to say is just like if you were to have some misalignment in your, in your physical body and that's gonna limit your range of motion, you might have scarring in your emotional body and that will limit your range of emotion. And then more subtly than that on the energetic body. So how do you start tweaking that? How do you start playing with that so that you can unlock those, those places where you're stuck and blocked and unleash your energy? It takes a lot of energy to stay misaligned and compressed. And when you can align with ease, instead of all this like sit up, sit up, sit up and taking a lot of energy to do that, it actually gives you back that energy that's locked up in the misalignment. So for one thing, releasing, releasing the places that are caught up, bound up, tied up in knots. Then the realigning, that's playful. You can start to move in playful ways and start to figure out, this is a practice of self-awareness and self-knowing of where is your body in space. So many of us walk around not even knowing where our body is in space. And then strengthening along that new alignment. So when you find ways to get yourself in a position of greater ease, you need to build some deeper supportive infrastructure on the physical body, on the emotional body, and on the energetic body to maintain that uplifted alignment. So there's bits and pieces to all of that. I'm gonna give you some more nuggets in written form, but I just wanted to bring you the concept here so that you could start to do this personal inquiry of where you might be misaligned on some of those deeper layers and how they're interconnected because no matter how much you work on one or the other, it's only going to feel easy and unleash that energy if you work on all of them. Okay, more coming at you. Stay tuned in the Facebook group because that's going to be the most interactive place where you can find the most up-to-date information. I'll make sure the link is with this video if you're not seeing it in the Facebook group. And if you are, comment 
seeing this in the Facebook group, comment below, like what are your alignment issues? Where do you know you're stuck and tangled in your body? Where do you feel compressed and strained and drained? I wanna hear so that I can help you. All right, you guys, that's it for now. Tomorrow we're gonna to be talking about some scara, these energetic scars, some of those more specific places where you are tangled and bound up in knots and how to specifically tune into those and free up that energy. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.